Is it too late? Are you one of those people who spent most of your life letting arts and creative endeavors take the back seat because other things were just a priority? You are not alone. Maybe you worked for decades at a job that you really didn't love, but it paid the bills. Or maybe you spent your younger years raising children and running a home. Whatever your story, if you clicked on this video, chances are you have a love for art and a deep desire to pursue drawing or painting, and you're wondering if you've missed your chance. Has that ship sailed? Is it even possible for someone to start making art later in life and be successful at it? I'm here to to answer that question with a resounding yes. Let me show you a painting. This painting is very special to me. It was given to me as a gift when I was a horse crazy kid. The artist was my 80 year old grandfather. As a kid, I looked at my grandpa's paintings with awe and wondered how he could so perfectly capture the light coming through the crashing ocean wave, how the colors and the shiny coat of the horse could look so real. You might be thinking by looking at this that my grandpa had probably painted his whole life. But the amazing truth is he didn't start painting until he was, wait for it, 70. Grandpa Bud Recknagel was a World War II veteran. He survived some of the most brutal arms Army warfare in the Southern Pacific. After the war, he married my grandma Joyce, took up farming and had four kids, my mom was the oldest, and suffered through many difficulties in life, including bankruptcy and alcohol addiction. In his 50s, he became a Christian and it completely transformed him. The grandpa I knew was a generous, vivacious, fun-loving man who devoured books, joyfully played his guitar and sang hymns in church, hunted and fished and cared for his backyard garden and deeply loved his family. His art filled his home and ours, and I loved staring at the walls, admiring his carefully painted renditions of the Old West, people, landscapes, and wildlife. He never sold his paintings, but to me, he was a truly successful artist because painting brought him joy. It colored his home with beauty and life, and he passed down his appreciation for the visual arts to his grandkids. Now, maybe your definition of a successful artist looks different. Maybe you're wondering if you can sell your paintings or make a name for yourself in the art world, even in the quote-unquote retirement years. Once again, the answer is yes. Let me introduce you to Judith Carducci. This beautiful lady sadly passed away this past summer in 2023 at the age of 88. But in spite of attending art school as a youth, she didn't begin her career in art until her 60s after raising children and working in a totally non-art related field as a social worker. She became one of America's best portrait artists, winning awards, teaching workshops, and mentoring women artists through the Portrait Society of America's Cecilia Bow Forum. She was incredibly successful in her art career, and she worked in a more unique medium as a pastel artist. There are also several more famous historical examples of artists who really hit their stride and made history with their work later in life. Paul Cezanne's work didn't gain any traction until he was in his 50s and 60s. He's now considered the world's preeminent post-impressionist painter. Carmen Herrera didn't sell her first painting until she was 89. Grandma Moses worked on a farm most of her life and didn't start painting until she was in her 70s. So what does it take to find success in your art, especially if you feel like you got a late start? I think the key ingredient to success is always passion. Do you love it? Are you committed to it? I think you should ask yourself, how important is my art to me? At the end of my life, will I look back and feel regret for not pursuing this? Maybe you feel some nerves about pursuing your art. We definitely all lack confidence at the beginning, but it's helpful to lovingly remind yourself that you've done hard things before. Maybe you've built a house, worked the night shift, pushed out a baby or two, run a marathon, or taught middle school. You have done hard things and you can do this too. When you start something new as an older person, your greatest advantage is maturity. Maturity is not something that you can just shortcut or fast track. It takes years to develop patience and self-awareness, two qualities that will serve you well as you begin and continue your artist's journey. After working hard for many years and raising children or developing other skills throughout your life, you can draw on those experiences to help you learn new skills. You are mentally prepared for the hurdles that you will face as you grow and stretch and develop as an artist. Something I personally love about getting older is that I care less and less about what others think. I can pursue what I love without worrying about pleasing anyone else. Maybe it's this who cares mentality that will spark a new style, a movement, or a theme in your art. With any endeavor, regardless of your age, you will need to invest a great amount of passion and time into the exploration of the thing. The good news is, if you're in your retirement years, chances are you have more time now than ever to invest in your art. And more good news, there is an absolute plethora of free information available on the internet for any person who wants to learn literally anything. You don't have to have a background in art. You certainly don't need to have attended art school, and you need very few tools to get started.
started. So be encouraged. This should be exciting for you. My hope is that you will come away from this video with a fresh confidence in your ability to thrive as an artist, even if you started late in life. Many other artists have succeeded in their golden years, and so can you. There's no time like right now. Seize the moment and start creating. I know you can change the world, or at the very least, bring more beauty into it. I believe each of us was born with a creative spark, and it's up to us to lean into that and find our own personal creative calling. Thanks for watching, friends. I'll see you again soon.